Hey gamers, and welcome back to a brand new Roblox Jailbreak video. And in today's video, we're going to be seeing what you can still get for the Vault Bike in trading inside Jailbreak in 2023. Now, yes, I know this is literally coming out before 2024, like the day before 2024, but still, it's 2023. So let's see what we can get for the Vault Bike inside trading. But before we get into this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, as I'll be giving away a torpedo at 5k subs, and we're getting pretty close, so hey, you subscribe. And yeah, make sure to join my Discord server and do all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter as well, that's what everyone forgets, so do that as well. But anyway, let's get on with today's video, let's head to the trading island. To this day, I still don't know why Bedemo decided to hide the trading island all the way over here in like the middle of nowhere. Like, if you're a new player to the game, good luck finding the trading island, like, you're probably never gonna find it until like, at least a few weeks into playing bro but nonetheless let's hop in and let's head to the trading island transition real and there we go now we're inside the trading island wasn't that a good transition so what i'm gonna do is first i'm just gonna set to my little tag here that i am looking to trade vault away there we go so now people know that i'm trading my vault bike away so let's see what we can actually get for it so looks like before we even start we've got two trades here let's let's oh wait why did they disappear okay let me see can i trade with this guy no can i can i trade with this guy he was the one that sent me it uh, can I, can I, can I trade with anyone, please? I'd quite like to. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the vault bike, and then I'm gonna spawn it. Oh, wait, hang on, this guy's, this guy's offering UFO. That's not very good, considering the vault bike's, you know, a million dollars. Been in it for a while. Oh, a reactor. Okay, bat wings. Okay, now this is a fairer trade. Too bad, I suppose. I don't know if I'd take this, though. It looks like we're not getting any gain here, so I'm gonna back out this trade. You know, the vault bike's not limited or anything, but it is a cool vehicle, and people still try to get it. What I'm really looking for to see if we can get some like an eclair and then like a the roadster because that would be a hundred k value just gained in like two seconds looks like we've got a fearless fan here let's trade with him as well let's see what can we get roadster native abstract and leclair that's not very good honestly the roadster sure good vehicle but for the vault bike nah not good enough i am sorry looks like we've got another trade right on over here let's see i'm gonna accept this trade and let's see i'm gonna add my vault bike just over here do i have two vault bikes or only one let's see vault bro i've only got one one vault bike okay right let's see oh a hyper le yellow level one it's not really worth it because that's like not good enough uh sirs we got a stat oh no just a hyper yellow and a sirs that's not good enough bro bro that's worth like nothing that's like 300 that's like 150 the prison bus are you serious why why are you just adding things bro bro this is a bad trade do not do this sort of trade even if you want hyperchrome don't do that sort of trade that is an awful awful trade what is this guy in the molten doing he's just like flying around bro what is this okay looks like from admin we've got a trade let's see what the admin can offer us i'm gonna add my vault just over here bonk there we go oh okay okay two aperture bro two aperture is actually pretty good i would take two oh he backed out okay maybe that wasn't a best trade but you know that would have been good if we could have actually have gotten that that would have been really good i'm just gonna run around here see if anybody you know wants to trade with me you know i'm just looking to get rid of a vault bike you know come on give me a, give me a trade someone come on come on just give your boy a trade oh this guy's approached us okay let's see trade let's then add the vault bank as usual what's he got to add to it an eclair that's 500 that's also 500k that's a million so this is would be a fair trade pretty much i mean you know you're getting two vehicles for the price of one i'd probably do this if you wanted to get rid of your vault bike and just get two vehicles instead but i don't want to get rid of my vault bike just for the same price i want to make a profit bro so i'm gonna back out this trade and i'm gonna see what else i can get let's see this guy says trading ufo you know bro i can always do with another ufo i can you know i can do with the ufo let's see i'm gonna add the vault there see what else he's gonna probably add the ufo and then maybe something else if he's feeling generous come on please add something else it'd be nice now this guy says he needs the vault so bad but you know he's only offering ufo the matador and the reactor but like i i feel bad if i said no to this guy but i don't have a vault just to give away this is my main vault this is my only vault bro look bob the log original owner not traded before i'm gonna just say i'm sorry man I, I, I don't want to get rid of this. I feel bad. I feel bad, you know. Oh, I, feel, I feel bad. But hey, if you want to win a torpedo, subscribe. Something that I've never really understood about the vault bike is why it only costs a million dollars. Like, bro, the concept is two and a half million dollars, and this vault bike is easily better than the concept in so many ways, other than the amount of seats. Bro, imagine if the vault bike had two seats. That would be insane. I mean, look at this. It does, like, 200 miles an hour in, like, two seconds flat absolutely handles amazingly well okay i'm just bad at driving but you get the point you get the point now 
I do wonder, you know, I'm not getting a lot for the vault bike, but, but what if I offer my Vault 4X4, which is the vault bike, but with four wheels and two seats and a lot slower. However, it is literally Season 2 vehicle, like the original Season 2 vehicle, so it is very, very rare. So I want to see, maybe people get me that. Offering for Vault 4X4. That, why am I putting a C? Four. There, that's a three. Four. There we go. Bro, I am awful at typing, bro. Okay, let's see. I'm going to then just find myself the 4X4, which is this vehicle right over here. Season 3 Level 10 Grand Prize, the Vault 4X4. This is a very, very rare vehicle. We're probably going to get quite a few offers in very, very soon. Like, this vehicle is one of a kind. They literally had to make the garage bigger just so this vehicle could fit inside it because of the back wing. Like, look, it only just fits in here. It's kind of funny. Can I get back up here, please? I want to get back to the training island, bro. Let's see. We've got a few. We've got a person here. I just want to see. Would he, would he actually offer if I jumped on my car. Is this guy gonna offer for the Vault 4X4? Bro, for some reason, the 4X4 is less popular than the original Vault, but by the speak of it, we've just got another trade right on in here. So let's see. Let's type Vault and then 4X4. Let's see. The Little Bird, that's not very good. That's really not very good for the original Season 3. This is OG. Did he just try to do the Little Bird for the 4X4? Bro, get out of here, dog. Get out of here. Oh, we've got another trade. Okay. Gonna add the Vault 4X4 like normal. Just bonk. There we go. We've got a hyper green level one. Okay, it is an OG actually. So it's not duped or anything. It is an original OG hyper. But it is level one, which means it's roughly worth 200 to 350k, which is really not a lot. Add, bro, the hyper green is nowhere near that amount. I don't think this guy knows how his trading works because, bro, a hyper green level one for a Vault 4x4. That is awful. I ain't gonna do that, bro. Speaking of that, does this guy actually have any good things, bro? He doesn't have any vehicles that you could really trade with. That's uh, that's not gonna go well, is it? Well, this guy's sitting in my vault bike. Uh, I don't know why he's sitting here, but he is. Um, he's missing an arm for some reason. So uh, poor him. What if I just drive around backwards in a circle like this? I don't know if this is gonna work. He says yo. What's the yo for? Yo. Can I offer for malt, bro? What is a malt? I don't know about you guys, but honestly, I'm really looking forward to the new malt bike vehicle. I, bro, the malt bike vehicle that is gonna be so sick. But yeah, just look how much slower the vault. 4x4 actually goes, and the handling on this is kind of sketchy. I mean, it's got some good handling, but like, bro, top speed of 130 is just so bad. It does leave two real cool trails behind it, but apart from that, not really. Trade me? Bro, okay, I'll send you a trade, but like, I don't know if you got anything good to offer, dude. Can I, can I, wait, wait, there, there we go. Okay, I sent him a trade request. Let's see, Vault, and uh, that's the Valley, and then there we go, Vault 4x4, let's see, what's he got? Bro, why is it, bro, you gotta put something there. Bro, does he got anything? Oh, it's the same guy, dude. I'm actually stupid. Dude, I'm actually stupid. I get out of here. Get I'm leaving you there, bro. I am leaving you there. Do you think I'm just gonna give it away? Nah. Okay, so it looks like we haven't actually had an awful lot of luck from the Vault 4X4. But hey, I think we should go back to the Vault Bike and see what we can get for that. Because for some people, people want that vehicle much more than the Vault 4X4. I mean, for sure, this group vehicle is great for grinding. But like, the Vault 4X4 is cooler. It's rare, you know? But this is just... This is just why. I should, I should probably change this. Offering uh, for Vault. Can I interest anyone in a little dash of Vault Bike here? Can I interest you, my good sir? Let me send you a trade request. Can I offer you in a Vault Bike? Volt. Blood isn't actually adding anything, so I'm going to back out. Billy wants to trade. Hey, Billy. Come here, Billy. What you got to offer for me, Billy? Oh, he's got another Volt bike. Oh, wait. A Volt bike for a Volt bike? Guys. Guys, this is... Oh. Okay, now this is a good... This would be a good trade. You're literally gaining on every vehicle here. You know, I'm, I'm going to ready up on that one, see if I can get it. See if I can get that. That would be really cool. Womp, he backs out, bro. No. Okay, let's trade with uh, Mohammed. Let's see. A hyper... Bro, is this the same guy? Is this the same guy? Nitro tank? I didn't even realize that was a spoiler, bro. I, d I don't think this would be a good trade for me. I'm just going to exit out. Well, the gist of this story, I believe, is that if you have a Volt bike, good luck trying to trade it away. I don't think you're going to be able to trade away this vehicle easily because everybody mostly has one. If you've got a million dollars, you might as well buy it rather than trading away all your other cars. So, in conclusion, the Volt Bike in 2023 in trading is not very good for trading. It's a great vehicle to use in the main get jailbreak game, but in anything else, bro, good luck trying to use it. The demand on the Volt Bike is just so low since everybody already has one. You know, it's only a million dollars to get, and it's probably one of the most popular vehicles inside jailbreak aside from the Torpedo and the Camaro. But tell me what you guys would think you'd offer for the Volt Bike inside the comments down below, and if you 
you haven't already, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we're getting really, really close to 5k subs. So, hey, it would help me out an absolute ton. Once again, if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.